Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Root Double Before Crime After Days Extend Edition. If you missed the last episode, you can click on the eye on the top of the video to watch the previous episode to get caught up. So, it seems like Sayu needs to uh, do her routine. Sayu ignored Natsuhiko and darted back inside. Yeah, exactly. I have no idea. Natsuhiko was at his wit's end, not understanding a lick of what occurred. And it didn't look like he could find an answer just by thinking about it. The questions only piled up. We need to write it down, and then we can brush her with, with questions. So in the end, he never heard what exactly she meant by protecting him. But still, honestly, what's with that girl? Or you. Ah, Sayu's attitude was the same as when they parted ways at the Parapsychology Research Center earlier that day. Was it? Natsuhiko stood alone at the entryway, pondering Sayu's words. But still, protect me? How? Hmm. And I did die in Route A. Hmm. Sayu's words were most likely not being made out of the kindness of her heart. That's great. It appeared to only be begrudgingly, Lee. That was uh, begrudgingly, begrudgingly. Yeah, I, I don't know. I put another ing in there after the ing. Anyways, following Doctor Tenkawa's orders. Hmm, they're ghosty goose. Why didn't Mom really order Sayu to do that? Hmm. After all, Rogume City excelled in public order. Very rarely did anyone get dragged into a crime. But even so, there was something that bothered him. What? Oh. Now that I think about it, Mr. Ukita's part of, part of Labo staff. He's Mom's co-worker. What if that car crash wasn't an accident? <gasps> Uh-oh. What if some circumstances are causing those with connections to Labo to be targeted? Uh-oh. He considered the thought for a moment. But he couldn't think of any rationale behind it, so he gave up on it. Why did the professor give neither Natsuhiko nor Sayu a proper explanation? Furthermore, did Sayu really come just to protect Natsuhiko? Hmm, good question. We will never... And we will never know. Natsuhiko muttered to himself and quit trying to think about it. Doesn't look like there's going to be any real harm done, so I'll just leave things as they are. It'll be okie dokie. If thinking won't solve something, then just try not to think about it. That was the mantra of Natsuhiko's lifestyle. But even so, Natsuhiko had a faint worry in the back of his mind. The worry that events he couldn't see were slowly coming to a head. Um... Wait... Wait, but didn't he get some visions, though? Hmm. Huh. The past and present you. 2017. 9-11-2030. Natsuko took a quick look at, it, look at his watch and realized it was already past 8 p.m. Uh-oh. He pulled himself together and hopped back through the entryway into his house. Hmm. Hello? In the living room, Natsuko saw no sign of Sayu. Instead, he found Yuri quietly reading a book. Oh. Uh, kind of? Uh. Whew. Yuri's casual tone of voice was a relief to Natsuhiko. A lot happened today, but it's a huge relief that Yuri's the same as always. Hooray! All his worries and weariness were washed away with one look at Yuri's smile. Natsuhiko returned her smile and sank into the sofa. Did you read another book? Oh, two books! Animorphs? 
とも切ない恋愛小説。They're not animorphs. 主人公の過去について、自らの記憶をもとに記したっていう形式のお話なんだけど。Wait, I feel like I've seen this somewhere before. 冒頭に出てくる、記憶というのは、すごく曖昧なものだっていう言葉が印象的で、ぐいぐい引き込まれちゃった。Yeah, they really are. 記憶は曖昧なものそう、主人公曰く、人は自分の記憶を自覚しないまま、いろいろと書き換える性質がある。That is somewhat true. Unless you have some、uh, really, really, really good memory. But sometimes people will just rewrite their own memories to,、uh, I guess, comprehend. And go with what they're feeling or thinking or something. And then eventually it just becomes that. So that's why、uh, I guess I think in court it, it's very tough to just have,、um, I guess, you know, because it, I remember psychology classes talking about like、um, people just not really like remembering correctly. Like,、uh, for example, if someone just rushed into a classroom and just Took someone's person ran out. Like, like they asked people about it, and it's like, uh, I, I don't know. Is it female, male? I, I was it a hoodie. Did, I, did she not wear a hoodie? He w e a r a hoodie. It's like all these weird things. I like psychology, it's pretty interesting stuff. Hmm. I guess? Oh, it's a little bit of 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 そんなことってあるかあるよ。例えば、素敵な恋をしている人がいたとするでしょうん、ん。その恋が続いているうちは、恋人との記憶は輝いて見えるけど、恋が終わったら、辛いだけになっちゃうかもでしょ Yeah. That's true. It's like, oh, I had a great time with this person. But then, but then things end, and then you're like, Man, it, it didn't really work out. It's, it wasn't good. See? See? Look at that. Oh, that's what I'm saying. I'm not sure what I'm saying. I'm not sure what I'm saying. Oh, you want to know? You kind of rewrote the, your own memories. I'm not sure what I'm saying. 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 自分だったのか相手だったのかが入れ替わったりね。Yeah, that's when you put words in other people's mouths. なあ、それはわかる。真っ白ともよく、お前が言った。いや、あんたが言ったの問題で揉めることが多い。I have selective good memory. <laughs> I don't know if that counts for anything, but I, I remember weird random things that I don't really need to remember. But I remember it. Odd. So, 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 思いは移ろう。絶対の真実なんかない。あらゆる過去は曖昧な霧の中にある。Wise words. だから、どの記憶が本当だったのか、主人公自身にもわからない。だけど。Except right now. だけど。と、そこまで読んだところ。続きはまた明日。Yeah, leave me at a cliffhanger, Yuri. そ、そうか。Even Yuri was confusing him now. Natsuhiko's shoulders drooped.
He softly smiled and continued. I feel like in romance stories you expect it to end, you know, happily or hopefully, you know. Emotions don't. What are you saying, Yuri? Her words sounded more than just a simple impression of a novel. But her expression was unexpectedly calm, which relieved Natsuhiko as he answered. Ah, oh, she's using BC. そうだな。本当にそう思うよ。え？それにしてもユーリ、そういう記憶に関する話好きだな。前にもそんな小説の話してくれたじゃないか。同じ事件に対して登場人物全員がバラバラの証言をするやつ。Oh my gosh, this is what I was just talking about before. Except I'm not sure if it's the same thing that she might bring up, but. About the whole person running in the classroom and leaving and then different testimonials. It's also like um in movies and stuff like that or shows that you don't realize, but like you know, in, during the same scene or whatever, like someone could just change clothes instantly, and you you would not have guessed unless it's super super obvious. But in that, it's usually people don't really realize like something's changed and their memories like, oh yeah, th they've been wearing that the whole time. Now that she mentioned it, Natsuhiko noticed that he and Mashiro had completely contrary impressions of Saoyu. That reminds me, I haven't directly asked Yuri about her yet, have I? Nope. And with that thought in mind, Natsuhiko asked her with a sigh. Impressions, the SSS. No, I was asking your impression. ユーリは大丈夫かなって思ってさ。いや。うん。私は大丈夫だけど。むしろ、サルちゃんが心配かな。緊張している風に見えるよ。Why? Oh, uh, who do we have? We have just Yuri. Oh no. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, I mean, I like Yuri. No, I don't want to say no. I don't know. Okay. Yuri to tomodachi ni natta toki mitai ni. Hope it's not a bad memory that I that I uh, did that, and you just think of something of the past. That was a story from long, long ago. Natsuhiko's brain became filled with memories of those days. He felt as if time itself were melting away as he recalled the memory of the day he and Yuri first met. Yay, I heard a good sound. Encounter. That day was nearly 10 years ago. And we will find out actually what the memory is in the next episode of Route W4 Crime After Days Extended Edition. If you guys enjoyed this episode, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye! Taking out. She, she, um, hmm. Okay, she, she's, uh, doing some, maybe she's just exercising. Maybe she's exercising.